Hello, this is Tolf from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you to a new add-on. Oh, it's not really new. It's been in Blender 2.8 and above for quite some time. Uh, but they've made a lot of improvements to it, which is the Blender Kit. I, I remember a user, a subscriber, mentioned it to me before. But I've never really wanted to get into it or look into it because I thought it was going to be kind of a cumbersome kind of... Uh, way of setting it up but it actually isn't so uh, I'm using Blender 2.9 and a lot of these assets that from what I've seen the ones that are free are, are pretty good and, uh, and the way you can activate it because it's already built into Blender let's go to edit and preferences and we're going to type in Blender you can see it's right there you just uh, put a check box or a check mark in the box and then when you scroll down you can log in or sign up um, set the I activated the GPU thumbnails rendering aspect of it because we have a strong enough graphics card it actually helps with rendering the uh, thumbnails a little bit faster and it has uh, you can set the thumbnail size and so on and so forth number of rows of your thumbnails once that's been set up I thought you had to be logged in or sign up in order to access the uh, add-on, but you don't. And here it is on the toolbar on this side. Just click on that, and you can log in or sign up for it. And I think when you log in or sign up for it, you have more access to more options. But from what I've seen, it has a lot of options in it. L let me delete this cube and let's go to the site so you can see where you want you can sign up if you want to sign up just go to blenderkit.com add-ons and uh yeah it's got a lot of i think it's got a thousand plus uh at uh options in it so in terms of materials uh models uh sculpt brushes and so on and so forth and the uh amount that they charge is not that much it's six dollars a month that's like $72 a month or $72 a year <coughs> excuse me monthly it's uh, about $10 a month and for a 30 day glimpse trial it's $11 a month which isn't bad so that's not bad at all that's uh, the price range if you want to get the full version of it you can do that and it's subscription based now I don't think you can purchase it and just have it which I, I'm not a big fan of subscriptions I, I know a lot of um, sites have done that for the past like 10 years, five, five to 10 years, Adobe, Substance Painter, so on and so forth, they're just subscription-based plans, which I'm not a big fan of that, but I mean, I guess there are options in it. But let's take a look at the add-on itself. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you can see it has a lot of categories for architecture, arts, characters, and so on and so forth. And you can view it, or it renders in Eevee and in Cycles. So let's go to, let's stay in, stay in Eevee for fast rendering for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm going to click on Eevee. Viewport. And I'm going to change the color of the world from gray to a lighter gray so we can see the assets better. So let's click on and to activate the uh, thumbnails. Let's go to Art and click on the, that double arrow. And let's click on Literature. And when you've done that, now these come up. Now I've seen that, and you can, like I said before, we're not. Lo I'm not logged in at all. I'm not signed up at all. But these assets still come up, which is cool. And from the thumbnails, <coughs> excuse me, you can see that it has a description of the size. There, I can't move my cursor down because if I do, it's going to get off the the, the uh, description of the item there. But you can see the description, the name of the item, and so on and so forth. Now it doesn't give you the the download size. But you can tell from the number of face, the face count, you can tell how big this is. This is probably around, this is 3,210 faces. So that's not that big. So let's click on that. And it has this little cube here that starts to build up. And once that's gotten to the top, <coughs> the top of the cube, that means that it's completely rendered out. So we're going to give it a few minutes here. It's taking a little bit longer because of the fact that I'm recording, so it's taking a little bit longer for it to render out, but it's still still pretty fast. And a few more seconds and it should be done. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and it has the textures applied to it. 
Now I've seen that once you've done this, if you're not logged in or signed up, you can't edit it. Let's, I'm going to click on it and press tab to edit. And it's not going to let me because it's, it's, uh, I'm not signed in. I think that's the reason why it's not going to let me edit the, uh, the model. Uh, but once you sign in, I'm assuming that once you're signed in or you're logged in, you can edit your item. And all of these that don't have locks, a lock icon on the bottom of them, these are all free, which is that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, the painting one, let's go to that. So these are all free also. And when you click on these three arrows, this helps you toggle through. And I've never used this before at all. I've, I've never. This is the first time I've opened up Blender Kits, and I'm pretty much surprised by what I'm seeing. It's it's this is all these items are free, and they're all they're all good quality. Now these are not free because these have locks on the like uh, like lock icons on the bottom of the thumbnail. So these are are paid here. But once once again, six dollars a month isn't bad. Let me see. Let's let's see what else they've got here. Let's uh go back up to the main menu they've got furniture let's click on those double arrows and the furniture is pretty nice click on that uh, wicker furniture cushion armchairs pillows so I mean if you're needing assets in blender for free this is the way to go for the most part if, if you need a lot of assets that don't cost that much this is still the way to go this is free this is a nice uh, leather bound chair which is free which is also nice so I mean from the fact that all this is free most of it is free based upon you know uh, what I've seen not most of it some of it's free some of the free items are great and the ones that are paid don't cost that much so that's the blender kit kit um, add-on for blender which is a free add-on in blender so the benefits of the blender kit uh, add-on in blender is that one these items that you're seeing here all these items here these are not stored on your computer so this is going to save you space on your hard drive these are stored on the blender kit site so once you've logged in and you've uh, you're online because you have to be online to access all of these items once you've done that, all these items are at your disposal. Once you pay for the full pro, uh, full uh, set of items, all these are at your disposal to download as you wish. The free ones are there for you to download at your, as you wish also, and they don't take up a lot of space on your computer because they're not on your computer at all. The second benefit is that uh, you don't have to be logged in to use these items. As you can see, I'm not logged in at all. I'm online. But I'm not logged into the site. I'm not. I'm not even signed up to Blender Kit. But I can still access these items. I can still download the free ones. So that's also benefit. Uh, and the second thing is that it's easy. Or the third thing is is that it's easy to use and easy to download the items. Just click on what you want to use. Let it build up, and there it is. Now the downside is that it's subscription based. As I said before, I'm not. For me, that's not something that I, I like. I don't like subscription subscription based uh, elements online. For me, it's pay for it and just call it a day but that's just I guess personal preference and the second thing is that you need a, gr a strong graphics card in order to actually access these items because of the fact that you're downloading them from their sites and as you can see for my computer this is a pretty strong computer b because I'm recording it took a little bit longer than it should have to download but you're gonna need a pretty strong graphics card average the strong in order to download these items because some of them are pretty dense I mean, let me let's go to let me show you what I'm talking. About. Let me go to a uh, a model of a person if I can find. It says military. Let's click on that. Okay, let me hover over that. Let's see. Um, okay, this is like ten thousand. The face count is ten thousand five hundred twenty-six. So that's kind of dense. Not too dense, but somewhat dense. Uh, character. Let's see what that is. Okay, this is where it starts getting kind of heavy. Now, this person is 39,744 faces. That's pretty, that's kind of, that's getting up there in terms of the face count or the vert count. And then this person is 261,000 faces. Uh, 261,328, so that's really dense. 
So for, in order for you to access or to use these items, even though they're paid, the ones that are not, there's some that are not paid that are still pretty dense. Let me see if I can navigate to that. Uh, uh, let me see. I thought that was an unpaid or free guy. Let me see. This griffin is not that dense. But there's some items, some characters in here that are unpaid or free, let me say. And they're, they're pretty dense. So you'd need a pretty strong graphics card to download that. And the other thing about this is that you, it doesn't give you the download size. It gives you, uh, this in the description, it gives you the, the, the vert count or the face count. But from there, you'd have to assume or kind of, uh, kind of uh, have a good understanding of how Blender works when it comes to the vert count to know how big the model is by the number of faces that it has. But it doesn't give you a direct uh, description or a direct amount in terms of the file size per model which is would be helpful if it did and then the last downside to this is that you have to be online for myself I've seen that with blender for me blender works faster especially when it comes to rendering it works faster when it's offline when I'm logged out logged out of uh, being online on my computer blender to me runs faster so for this to work on your computer you have to be online which for I guess per computer it's it differs but for me that's the downside for me but for the most part the blender kit is a pretty good free add-on with lots of free good assets attached to it free models free brushes free textures so that's today's blender quick tip for beginners so if you need a free or uh, free access to models in blender at a very very discounted price low price so to speak Blender Kit is the way to go. All right. Thank you guys who have subscribed to my channel or to the channel. I like to say the channel, not my channel, but to the channel. Really appreciate it. And thank you guys who are subscribing right now at this point in time. And thank you guys who have been watching the videos. Really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Adios.